Hello there, welcome to Do Wilderness, a YouTube channel dedicated to maximizing your fun, safety, and enjoyment of the wilderness of our world. This is a video on making a navigation plan. And a navigation plan is simply a topographical map showing your route to a wilderness destination and you leave a copy of it with your contact and you carry a copy of it with you when you go to that wilderness destination. Now, my upcoming wilderness destination video series are going to be dealing with wilderness destinations off the trail. Anytime you leave the trail in the wilderness and go off the trail, I highly suggest you make a navigation plan. Now for the why, make a navigation plan. And that answer is that first, when you choose to go off trail in the wilderness, there's a higher level of risk that just naturally comes with walking off trail. And you're now a member of a club of people who choose to push themselves physically and mentally in order to experience all the wilderness has to offer. Go to spots where not many people have seen. Go to spots that will leave lasting memories about uh, the journey there. And with this higher level of risk comes a responsibility. A responsibility to first of the search and rescue people who are gonna have to come find you if something should happen by leaving a navigation plan with your contact person, it greatly decreases the amount of time it takes to find you, to rescue you, and it increases the level of I intensity search and rescue can use to find you. They can focus all their resources they have on where you are along your route. They can stay focused on that path. Your second responsibility is to those people those friends and family at home who love you. It's a responsibility to them if, if the unthinkable should happen, the unforeseen should happen, and search and rescue does have to come find you. The amount of time it takes will greatly decrease, which will put your friends and family through less trauma.
And then, lastly, you have a responsibility to yourself. Have a responsibility that you do not intentionally put yourself in harm's way and the, that you take advantage of all the resources that you have to minimize the risk of traveling off trail in the wilderness. Now, let's head on back. I'm gonna briefly go over the Trimble Terrain Navigator Pro software I use to make a navigation plan. Whoa. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I just had a a flash about just uh, jumping in this river, but I'm carrying a lot of expensive electronic gear and wouldn't be smart. And it's really cold. This is a snowmelt river. Anyway catch you back in the city. And this is describing how to do it using the topographical mapping software I use, which is Train Navigator Pro from Trimble. Now the software costs money. It costs $240 a year per state per person. Each additional state is an extra $240 per year per state per person. If you're a hunter, you will need the private land boundaries layer and that will cost $120 a year per state per person. This is a great deal, I feel, considering how much it costs to go to a movie uh, these days. Now, when you first come in to Train Navigator Pro, you're going to want to create a new projects. So you go to file and then then drop down to map projects and then hit new. Hit next here because obviously you're going to want to keep it on your PC. Now here you're going to give it a title it finished and then closed. And then now you have a fresh map map in front of you. And chances are when you come in to the mapping software chances are it's not going to be the scale and type we want. So chances are it's going to look something like this. Or it could look like this. Or it could look like 
this. Who knows? Anyway, when you first c come in, we want to use the 1 to 9,028 scale. Choose USGS topographic. And then when you do that, the standard version comes up, which is not clear as as we want. So the clearest version happens to be the shaded relief. So change this to shaded relief. And do not worry about this merge uh, drop down here. So now you're going to be somewhere on on this map. It came to where we needed because I've been doing this over and over again. But chances are you're going to be a long ways away from where we need to be on the map. So get so to get to the portion of the topo map that you need to be to make this navigation plan for the wilderness destination from my video which happens to be Copper Creek Falls here which will be my first wilderness destination video you're going to enter one of the waypoints I gave you from the video. You're going to make a list of these waypoints from my video. And so you, all you have to do is enter one. And to do that, you're going to go to layers and markers. Now, markers and waypoints are the same thing. When we talk markers, we're talking waypoints. When we're talking waypoints, we're talking markers. So hit new. And let's give it a name. So for this particular one, it's called slot rest. And then we're going to enter our north latitude, which is 45.250062. Then we enter our west longitude, which is 121.5. Nine zero seven five seven five. Hit OK. Now, now that first waypoint there has been highlighted. So you just hit Find, and then it'll take you right to the area of our topo map we need. Now to get rid of this round circle that it puts there, simply make sure we're on the drag tool, which is a hand, and drag it over that until the X comes up and do that, and it's gone. Now if you happen to accidentally enter a marker where you don't want well you go to the marker tool up here click it come back to the marker drag over it until the hands there left right click and hit delete and it deletes an unneeded waypoint or, or marker. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to enter all, all the waypoints for 
the Copper Creek Falls navigation plan. And I know one's going to be about right here. And if you ever have to move a waypoint, simply move it where you need it by dragging until the hand comes over it. Move it. All right, so we got one there, and I know one's going to be here at Bighorn Creek, and I know one's going to be right here at the end of what what you will see is called plane number two. And I know one's going to be here. And I know one's going to be about here. And then I know some are going to be about here like this. And I know one's going to be there. So this will be all they look. So we have a generated list here. And if you if you want to see those waypoints or markers, just go to layers and markers, and there's our list. So these are the ones we just entered here. Slot rest. I gave it the title. All right uh, now, it helps out if we create a route along all these markers. And to do that, we're going to use our track tool, which is right here, highlighted track tool. And it is a pencil or a pen. And to do that, all you're going to do, it is so simple, you're going to begin here, left click to make your segments right here. And this is purely for demonstration. There you go. See, I'm making a track to follow in the wilderness. Now, granted, it will probably change. And there's a there's a pretty cool boot track here already. So it'll it it, it won't be straight, but It'll be something like this. <coughs> and here it's going to do this. And then slot rest. And slot rest is right next to Copper Creek Falls. Now, when you get to the end of your track, right? Click and hit finished track. Now, after you do this, you want to go immediately and give it a name. So to do that, so we have layers again. So you're beginning to see this program operates in layers. 
and go to tracks. Here's our track we just made. Let's give it a name. So it's highlighted blue. And we're going to call this C, C, F, Nav, Plan. And there we go. Okay, if you happen to make a mistake and you accidentally make a a track where you don't want it oh like this uh, say like that simply right click and hit delete track if you happen to make one on accident and you don't see it, hit finish track. Then right click and hit delete. So now we want to change back to our hand dragged tool so nothing bad happens. All right, so we want to download all this to our GPS. We've, we're going to be carrying all these waypoints we've made and this track on our GPS. So we want to hook up our GPS. I'm hooking it up right now. GPS is hooked up. Then you go to GPS, GPS Setup Lizard. And right here, just remember the word next. Next. Yes, I have a GPS unit. My GPS does not use location services. Hit next. Uh, just go next. Yes, I have hooked it up to to the computer with a cable. If you have a fancy GPS that hooks up wirelessly, hit next. Then hit next. And my GPS type is a Garmin. You can choose from this list. If your GPS is not on this list, they do have a way to configure a GPS not on the list, but uh, mine's a Garmin. So let's go back here. There's Garmin, hit next. And see there, it configures it. And then hit and Hit finished, and voila, it's all done. Now, now we want to take all these waypoints that for our land navigation plan to Copper Creek Falls, and we want to download them onto our GPS. So you go over here to GPS. Send to GPS and markers. Remember, markers are the same as waypoints. Click markers, hit select all, and hit send to a GPS, hit X, hit OK. Now we want to export this track to the GPS. So we can easily do that. Go to GPS again up in the top left corner at GPS. Hit send to GPS and tracks. There's our track we just titled Copper Creek Falls Nav Plan. Highlight it and 
Send to the GPS one track exported. Great, so we got it. Everything's in our GPS now. We got our waypoints there. We got our tracks. Now we want to print a hard copy of this, a eight and a half by 11 copy of this map. And to do that, first we're going to configure the page setup. And we want to go portrait. Most of the time, portrait's going to work. If somehow you can't fit your whole navigation plan on the portrait page, change it to landscape. But Portrait's going to work for us this time, so hit OK, then go back up to File here, and Print and Publish Map. All right, there's our navigation plan with all of our waypoints we've just created, and here's Slot Rest, but there's no map on there. Well... If for some reason there's no map on here, then simply go, come over here on the left hand side here, go to map and then type and hit topo and hit USGS topographic and it will bring up the standard version, but we don't want to use the standard version. We want to use the shaded relief. But for some reason on my computer, shaded relief only works on the 1 to 12,000 scale version of, of the USGS topo. Now I've changed it, so let's go back here to which version of the topo we want shaded relief. There's a nice clear version. Now we want to maximize our our map on the page. Well, we want to make sure we get as much map on the page as possible. So we're going to drag the top, go to that center black dot there, wait till the arrow comes up like this, and drag it until it snaps there. Go to the bottom, wait for the arrow, drag it till it snaps there and on the right side we're going to drag till it snaps here and the left side we're going to drag it till it snaps now we have maximized our print page which is an eight and a half by eleven let's get rid of this scale thing because of the scale box because it's really not needed and it's just more things to print. So let's do this to get rid of the scale box. We just simply come back over to the left and highlight scale under page block. And once you do that, hit delete. And it makes it disappear. Now to print this, simply hit hit print and make sure your printer's hooked up and printed out. I'm going to be showing you a great way to carry this printed map with you in the wilderness uh, after this. So now you have your printed map and now we we also want to be able to send 
a copy of this, we want to be able to email a copy of our navigation plan to our contact person who we have deemed somebody who cares enough to call search and rescue if we do not come back at the designated time. To do this, we simply hit export and now you save a spot on your computer. I'm going to save mine in my M drive. And then I have created a file, Train Nav Pro Maps. And we're going to give this map a title and hit save. Now we have a beautiful JPEG file saved to a specific location on our computer. We can easily attach to a email and send it to our contact person. Alrighty, so now I'm going to be showing you the greatest way to carry these little 8.5 by 11 printed maps. I use a, a seal line dry bag type map protector that holds an eight and a half by 11 printed map perfectly. This is a dry bag type because it has a, has a flap here that you roll up and seal with Velcro. I could not find this seal line online any longer, so I have to assume they no longer make it. It is a shame. The only one I could find online was uh, their Ziploc type. I could not get a smaller one, so I could not verify that it holds an eight and a half by 11 printed app. So I'm gonna have to do a video testing the two map protectors. I thank you for watching Do Wilderness. If you liked what you saw, hit subscribe. And remember, be safe, make up a navigation plan, send it to a contact person. Thanks again for watching.